What's going on guys? J Flesh Tanks. Dirt vs. Substrate update number three. Plants are growing in both tanks. I've actually taken out uh, a select few plants out of each tank. I took some Willow Hygro and some Temple plants out of both tanks and I'll show you why here in a second. Dirt tank guys is definitely growing plants better. They like the, uh, the star grass is doing better in this tank than it is up in the, uh, the substrate tank and I'll show you why here in a second. Blix is doing well. The Amania Christmas tree. So I had to cut the stems and replant it but it's doing real well. It's growing and it's staying nice and red. Sword's putting out a ton of new growth. Rital is doing well. Uh, valves are throwing out shoots or uh, runners you know right through to there uh, back ones are doing the same thing uh, Ricky is doing well in this tank as well uh, in this tank star grass melted really well I wouldn't say really bad but it did melt so you can see the melt right here but all the new growth that's coming in now is nice and green so just adjusted to the water parameters and all that stuff so all the new growth is nice and green but it did not melt this is the same clippings from the same tank put in the exact same time so the dirt tank it did not melt in the substrate tank it did but all the new growth is coming in good uh, sword same thing I got more I got a ton of new growth but the old leaves have died off faster in the substrate tank than it did in the dirt tank Amania all of it Christmas tree at the bottom had to pull it cut it and replant it uh, I've done that almost in every batch of Amania I've had so except one uh, so that's kind of I don't know status quo putting out runners you can see them right through there right there on the valves uh, uh, Blix is doing well all through there got some crips in here same thing down here crips melted worse in the dirt tank than it did in the substrate tank uh, water quality about the same like when we're talking actual parameters appearance wise all I'm doing is 50% water changes because that's fair I'm trying to keep everything the same and, and fair. There's no dosing in this tank, no CO2 on either tank, and I do the water change 50% once a week on both tanks. This tank releases tannins. Um, it's kind of irritating, but it's expected, I guess, with dirt uh, from what everyone's told me and what I've read about it. But uh, if it was a display tank, I would have to do way more water changes on this guy so far. I don't know if that'll stop, but so far I would have to do way more water changes in this dirt tank than I would in substrate tank to get the water clarity to where I want it. Um, other than that, I'll show you what I did real quick, what I did with the plants that I took out of these two tanks. You know, just for the record, they're doing, a, they're both doing well. Uh, I'm not down on either one of them. Um, you know, the, the thing that's got me down is the melt in that tank thing that's got me down in this tank is the tan release but for the most part they're about even Steven uh, a lot of stuff is growing a lot of you know and the star grass is rebounded in this tank so far but this is the tank that I took some plants out of starting to get this guy scaped up 75 gallon planted uh, you can see the temple plants and the willow high grows through there. Um, I don't have enough plants in here, I know that. I'm working on that. Um, other than that, guys, I'll show you a video of this here in a little bit. I got all those rocks. Uh, I went on a little rock hunt, so I'll show a video of that here pretty soon. But so far, dirt versus substrate, even Steven. Eh, I wouldn't say even Steven. Pros and cons of both tanks so far. So, J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Later, guys.